Well, hello. Come right in. Oh, George, we've got company. This is Bill Goodwin speaking for Lever Brothers, makers of Swan, the new white floating soap that's pure as fine Castiles. Well, it's Tuesday night again, time for another pleasant visit with George Burns and Gracie Allen, our guest, lovely Ann Sheridan, Jimmy Cash, Felix Mills and his orchestra, and the Swan Tech. Now, meet the people who live in the Burns house, George and Gracie. Here they are. Well, it's early afternoon in the Burns home, and George has not yet returned from the office. There's the sound of the door buzzer, and Gracie goes to the door. Good afternoon, Mrs. Burns. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Postman. Mm, gorgeous afternoon, isn't it? Oh, yes. The air is just like wine. Even a teetotaler such as myself can get a snoot for. <laughs> Oh, you don't drink? Oh, nothing intoxicating. Nature plays such funny tricks. Here I am, a regular bull, and I'm full of milk. <laughs> yes, I know. Any mail for us this afternoon, Mr. Postman? Just one letter. Here it is. Oh, oh, it's from Ann Sheridan. Ann Sheridan, the movie actress? Yes. I'm mad about her. We have so much in common. Oh, really? Yes. We both have room. <laughs> I saw her new picture last night. Thank your lucky stars. It was so funny. Every time I think of it, I have to laugh. <sighs> well, Miss Sheridan is coming over this afternoon to talk about our work at the USO Canteen. Why don't you stay around and meet her? Oh, I wouldn't trust myself too close to her. She's so fascinating, and I'm such a mad, impetuous boy. <laughs> I might lose my head. Oh, does Aunt Sheridan affect all men like that? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm worried about my husband. If he's got a pint of blood in his veins, he's susceptible. <laughs> well, I'm worried about him anyway. There's your... <laughs> There's your husband now, getting off the bus. Yeah. See, maybe I'd better test him before Aunt Sheridan gets there. Test him? Yeah, I'd better find out if he really is susceptible to um. Well, good luck, Mrs. Burns. And remember, keep smiling. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Postman. My wife home? Yes. She's waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's, uh, what's he laughing about? Hello, Dad. Hello, you great, big, wonderful hunk of man. <laughs> huh? You appeal to me, son. Gracie, what's come over you? Oomph. Oomph? I'm full of it, son. You're full of oomph? Sure. What makes the birdies sing in the tree, son? What makes one oyster run madly after another oyster? I'm sure I don't know. Oomph. Oomph? Mm, I'm full of it, son. Look, Gracie. What puts the fire in the firefly? What makes the papa octopus hold all those hands with a mama octopus? I'm sure I don't know. Oomph. Oomph, look now, Gracie. Mm, I'm full of You're it, full son. of it. You're full of it. Now, please. <laughs> Tell me, what does this all mean? Well, dear, Aunt Sheridan is coming over, and I thought I'd better see if you were oomph proof. Oh, sweetheart. You don't have to worry about Aunt Sheridan. You're all the glamour I want. Oh, George, thank you. Now, have you got something nice to say to me? Well, sure. Well, say it. You have awfully good taste. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that, that must be Aunt Sheridan now. Come in. Hi, folks. Oh, Bill. <laughs> I thought you were Aunt Sheridan. <laughs> oh, really, Gracie? A natural mistake. I just washed my hair with swan soap. <laughs> Oh, sure, sure. Can't tell your hair from Aunt Sheridan's. Of course, yours is fluffier. Well, now, don't kid about it, George. Swan can do anything. Why do you think there's a beautiful wave in my hair? On account of Swan? Well, sure. Gave a beautiful wave a bar of Swan, and she's been in my hair ever since. <laughs> oh, Bill. Well, you can't blame her, George. 
swan is actually four soaps in one. The soap for your hands and face, the soap for bathing the baby, the soap for your dishes, and for your light laundry. Four swell soaps in one. Well, Bill, I, I meant that I'm expecting Aunt Sheridan to arrive here any moment. Aunt Sheridan? Mm, very beautiful girl, if you happen to like beautiful girls. Personally, I prefer swan soap. <laughs> what? Well, certainly. Can Aunt Sheridan wash a dish like swan soap? Well, no. No, but swan soap can wash a dish like Aunt Sheridan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's perfect for dishes. Just try Swan in the dishpan or for laundering your fine things. You get loads of suds and real mildness for your hands at the same time. Why, Swan is so mild, so gentle, it helps keep your hands lovely even while you're doing your housework. Bill, your suds happy. If you saw Ann Sheridan, you'd fall all over yourself. Not true, George. If Ann Sheridan begged me to marry her, and I wouldn't blame her, I'd still turn her down. Well, I can't stand anymore. I'll see you later. Gracie. Can I help it if Ann Sheridan just doesn't excite me? Now, Swan is different. Swan is a great wartime buy. Come in. Hello, Gracie. Well, hello, Ann. Come on in. Uh, Ann, I'd like you to meet a very dear friend of mine, Bill Goodwin. How do you do, Mr. Goodwin? <laughs> oh, Bill. Close your mouth and say hello to Miss Sheridan. Miss Sheridan, you're beautiful. Well, Bill, I thought you preferred swan soap. Huh? Swan. Swan soap. What's that? What's that? Why, swan soap, Bill. Swan, the new white floating soap. Oh, yeah. Miss Sheridan, may I have the honor of breaking you in two? I beg your pardon. Bill, it's Swan that breaks in two, not Miss Sheridan. Gracie, I think this character has a few shingles loose in his roof. <laughs> Miss Sheridan, have I known you long enough to tell you that I love you? You certainly have not. Have I now? <laughs> Bill, I think you better be running along. Well, okay. Uh, goodbye, Miss Sheridan. Goodbye, Mr. Goodwin. Awfully amazed to have met you. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Closet. <laughs> You mean just because he went out with that lampshade on his head? Yeah, you seem to put people in a daze. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, yes, you do. And, look, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I know you're the oomph girl, but I've got a confession to make. What, Gracie? You don't affect me that way at all. Our tenor, Jimmy Cash, in another top ballad of 43, if you please. Jimmy? Did I see moonlight and magnolia trees Smile again, my darling, if you please Did I hear music on a warm spring breeze Speak again, my darling, if you please Did I feel cool September rain just then If you please touch my cheek with your hand can dream with ease, and I'm yours, my darling, if you please. If you please touch my cheek with your hand. And I 
I'm yours, my darling, if you please. And what time are we supposed to be at the canteen? In about an hour. Well, after we serve the boys coffee and donuts, what about the entertainment? Oh, we'll dance with them, and they'll probably want us to play some games with them. Ah, what sort of games? Well, the last time I was there, the boys asked me to play a game called Mail Call. Mail Call? I've never heard of it. Oh, yes, you have. It's post office, army style. (laughs) Uh, Did you play it with them? Yes, but I insisted on the new zoning rules. Oh, and I wonder if the soldiers really enjoy having girls at the canteen. Well, they seem to, Gracie. Last night, when Joan Leslie and I walked in, they whistled and cheered and stamped their feet. Yeah, but just walk in there some night without coffee and donuts. <laughs> well, you may be right. Gracie, I just saw Bill Goodwin and his walk. Oh, hello, Miss Sheridan. Oh, and you know my husband. Of course. Everybody knows Gracie Allen's husband. It's just his name I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, Burns. Oh, yes, Burns. How are you, Bob? (laughs) Fine, fine. Uh, His name is George. Uh, What were you saying about Bill Goodwin, dear? Well, the guy is nuts. He's marching up and down the street with a broomstick for a gun and a lampshade for a helmet. (laughs) And not only that, he says he's going in the army. In the army? Oh, my goodness, Dan. You did put him in a daze. The poor boy thinks he's a father. What did you do to him, Miss Sheridan? Honestly, I never touched him. I guess he just has a vivid imagination. Well, it's love. It's love, that's what it is. Why, Anne, you and Bill might become one of the great love affairs of history. Like Romeo and Juliet, or or Anthony and Cleopatra, or Tommy Manville and the Women of America. Oh, but Gracie, you don't think Bill's really in love with me, do you? Oh, I'm sure of it. George acted the same way. When he fell in love with me, he was out of his mind. Gracie, Anne Sheridan doesn't want to hear about you and me. Oh, of course she does, darling. If I tell her how I handle you, she'll know how to handle Bill. Well, that's an idea. What happened, Gracie? Well, uh, well, in the first place, George was even cuter then than he is now, if you can imagine that. I'll try. <laughs> you know, I... I used to enjoy chucking him under the chin. Of course, now I enjoy it twice as much. (laughs) Gracie. Well, tell me how you handled him, Gracie. Was he difficult, too? Oh, yeah. He just swept me right off my feet. The fiery type, huh? Oh, fiery. He was simply a blaze. Why, we hadn't been married two weeks before he tried to kiss me. (laughs) Gracie, Anne doesn't want to hear all this. Yeah, he's still the same ardent lover today. Honestly, Anne. Haven't I got the sweetest, darlingest husband in the whole world? Oh, Gracie. Well, we'll leave it to Anne. Anne, now look, you work at Warner Brothers with men like Humphrey Bogart, Cary Grant, Errol Flynn, and Dennis Morgan. But honestly, can any of them even approach George for downright cuddliness? Well, he is a little cuddlier than Humphrey Bogart. Oh, you betty. <laughs> He's the cutest little cuddliest rascal in the whole world. Isn't he just darling, Anne? Yes. Want to hold him for a minute? <laughs> no, no, I, I might drop him. <laughs> All right now, Gracie, this has gone far enough. Yes. Gracie, how can I cure Bill? I don't want him chasing after me and buying me flowers and taking me to nightclubs and sending me candy. Well, stop him the way I stopped George. Marry him. <laughs> no, thanks. I believe in short engagements, but not that short. Oh, Gracie, I dashed over to Dan. Oh, oh, Anne Sheridan. Well, yes, Tootsie, and meet Tootsie Sadwell. How do you do? Oh, Miss Sheridan, it's true, we do look alike. (laughs) We do? Yes. Oh, it's such a thrill to meet you in the flesh. Why, thank you, Tootsie. I'd like to meet you in the flesh sometime. (laughs) Oh, thank you. Well, Gracie, I came over to tell you that Bill Goodman has lost his mind. I saw him out in the middle of the street wandering around in the traffic. Oh, how awful. Yes, I could get killed that way. (laughs) You could get killed? Well, naturally, I was following him. (laughs) Now, that's it. I'm going out and get Bill and bring him back here. And you girls better figure out a cure. What's he talking about, Gracie? Well, Anne's responsible for Bill's condition. Oh, I guess there's only one way to snap him out of it, Anne. 
What's that? You have to be the oomph. The oomph? How? Well, it's really very simple. Tootsie. Yes? Tell Anne your beauty secret. Oh, Oh, Gracie, she's already as pretty as I am. (laughs) Well, you're different, and that's just what we need. Come on, tell us how you got that way. (laughs) Well, first thing in the morning, I slap my face 20 times on one side and 20 times on the other side. If you do that gently, it keeps your face in shape. (laughs) I'm afraid you don't know your own strength. Gracie, it's no use. I could never get a face like Miss Sagwell's in just one day. She's obviously been working at it for years. <laughs> oh, she's right, Gracie. And even if she had my face, she couldn't have my figure. Well, of course she could. I know where you buy most of it. <laughs> no, really, we'd better try something else. Oh, I guess so. Let's see now. We could... Well, here he is. Nuttier than a fruitcake. Hello, Bill. Hello. You... Uh... You feel all right? Sure, I feel fine. Oh, well, then, George, there's nothing the matter with him. Come on, Bill, I'll take that lampshade off your head. Okay. Better disconnect me first. Oh, sure. (laughs) Time again for Felix Mills, his orchestra, and the Swan's Head in the Mills portrait of, well, listen... Is he any better? Well, I'm afraid he's still a bit confused, Dan. I took him an ice bag for his head and he's sitting on it. That's... That's curing a headache the hard way. Gosh, I, th- I wish these things wouldn't happen. Why can't men admire me for my intellect? Well, I guess fashion is to blame for that. There just aren't any dresses that show off a woman's brain. Well, it doesn't look like you girls are going to help, Bill. I better go in and talk to him myself. Bill. Yes, Ann, darling. This isn't Ann, darling. This is George. Kiss me. No, you'd hate yourself in the morning. <laughs> look, look at me, Bill. I'm George Burns. Oh, forget about the kiss. 
Listen, kid, snap out of it. You're making a fool out of yourself. I am? Yes, you're a guy with a future. This craze for Ann Sheridan, this, this is going to end your career. What a way to retire. <laughs> let me help you. Really, let me help you. I know how you feel. I can read your mind like a book. You can? Sure. We'll turn to chapter ten. It's a pip. <laughs> uh, okay, I give up. Did your talk do any good, George? No, he's so crazy about you, he can't see straight. Isn't there some way you could disillusion a man? Sure. I'll give him the I'm not the kind of a girl for a boy like you uh, routine, huh? That's right. Tell him that you're not good enough for him. Hey, that's a wonderful idea. Make him believe you're a wicked woman. <laughs> Tell him you do horrible things. Tell him you chew gum. <laughs> Should I, Gracie? Sure. Tell him you started chewing just to be sociable, but now you even chew when you're alone. <laughs> Oh, but Gracie, we've got to draw a line someplace. Well, why? Go the limit. Make up even worse lies. Tell him that once a man kissed you. Well, Gracie, to tell you the truth, once a man did. <gasps> and I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Look, girls, get in there and get started. Bill's suffering. Come on, Gracie. I know how to disillusion him. Bill. Yes, Ann, dear. There's something I must tell you. I'm not what you think I am. You haven't seen the real me. Well, what I've seen, I like very much. Oh. Bill, you don't understand. Anne Sheridan may look like a simple, unsophisticated country girl, but underneath that faded gingham dress, she's wearing a silk petticoat. Well, call me a fool, but I don't care. Listen to me, Bill. You're too fine, too decent for a girl like me. Well, couldn't I last myself up a little? <laughs> let me put it this way, Bill. Look, let me put it this way. Have you got a sister? Yes. She's a fine, wholesome girl, isn't she? Sure. Then how in the world could you bring a girl like me home to your mother? Well, she's right, Bill. Bring your sister home to your mother. <laughs> Believe me, Bill. I haven't got a decent bone in my whole body. And it's surprising, isn't it, when she has such a decent body? <laughs> no, I tell you, Bill, honestly, I'm no good. I'm just a phony. Everything about me is phony. Yeah, that's right. Even that oomph business isn't on the level. Honestly? Honestly. How can a girl be level and have oomph? <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I just know there's nothing bad about you, Anne. Look into my eyes, Bill. My awful past is mirrored in them. Come close and see for yourself. Closer, Bill. Closer. Well, here's where we lose this whole argument. <laughs> Look deep into my eyes, Bill. Wow! Mm. I knew it. Come on, Anne. We'll have to think of something else. Well, how did you make out? Well, we were doing fine until Ann let him get within oomphing distance. <laughs> well, now what? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Say, the memory of an old love might save him. Was Bill ever desperately in love? <gasps> oh, of course he was. I'll go right inside and get a bar of it. <laughs> I think Gracie has the right idea. Swan soap is bound to snap him out of it. Well, I hope so. I'm getting tired of puppy love from a guy who's big enough to be a wolf. <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh, I'm sure it'll work. Bill will come around when he sees this bar of swans. Uh, hello, Bill. Hello, Ann. Oh, I'm not Ann. I'm Gracie. And look what I've got in my hand. What is it? Oh, Bill, it's a bar. And you get stuff from it. Make mine a short one. <laughs> Bill, it's soap. Your favorite soap. You know, the soap with a bird's name. Sparrow? <laughs> Pigeon? Eagle? Bill, think of a long neck. Ann Sheridan. <laughs> no, Bill. Swan. Swan soap. You remember, it's four soaps in one. The soap for your dishes, light laundry, tub or shower, or for bathing the baby. Bathing the baby? Yes, Bill, the baby. How do we bathe the baby? Have we got a baby, Ann? Oh, no. 
But Swan is swell for bathing the baby. Don't you remember? You always said the doctors recommended because it's so mild and gentle, kind even to a baby tender skin. Yes, yes, and if it's kind to a baby skin, well, it must be great for anybody's hands and face tub or shower. That's right, Bill. Oh, Bill, you're cured. Cured? Has something been wrong with me? Yes. You didn't even know what Swan soap was. Oh, don't be silly, Gracie. Swan's the soap that breaks in, too, so you can use half in the kitchen for your dishes and light laundry and half in the bathroom for your hands and face tub or shower. Oh, that's right. Now will you forget Ann Sheridan? Ann Sheridan? Oh, what do I care for Ann Sheridan? This is wonderful. Oh, Ann, Ann. Yes, Gracie. What happened? Oh, he's cured. Oh, I'm so happy, Mr. Goodwin. Thank goodness for Swan soap. Swan soap? What's that? <laughs> something else. Going again, huh? Worse than ever. Nothing will help us now. Oh, wait a minute. I've got it. Oh, why didn't I think of this before? And it's so simple, too. What? You make love to George. What's so simple about that? <laughs> anyway, I don't see... I really don't see what good that'll be. But, George, you spur Nan, don't you see? Turn her down. I get it. And when Bill sees that I'm not good enough for George, he'll figure I'm not good enough for anybody. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like but I'll do it for Bill's sake. Okay, George. You run in the room where Bill is, and I'll chase you. Oh, <laughs> I wish Mother could see this. <laughs> and Sheridan chasing George. <laughs> well, come on. Now get away from me, Sheridan. Stop chasing me. Oh, but George, I want you. I need you. I must have you. Go, 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 go. Oh, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> but I can't. George, I can't live without you. I can't, I can't. Kiss me. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is George brushing off Sheridan? Oh, it's working. It's working. Pour it on. Oh, George, I'm so mad about you. Look into my eyes, George. Look into my eyes. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> well, come closer to me, darling. Closer. Now, look deep into my eyes. Uh, I'm looking. <laughs> You're my everything, Georgie. My love, my life, my all. I... I am? <laughs> Say you'll be mine, Georgie. Say it. Say it. Oh, Annie! George! Oh, my goodness. I've been oomphed out of a husband. <laughs> George and Gracie will be right back, and I'm just going to stay here long enough to remind you that while here in America we all have enough soap to go around, you can't afford to waste any. So when you use swan, take it easy, won't you? When you swan your dishes or light laundry, the instant you get enough suds, that'll only take a few seconds, put the soap back in the soap dish. And make sure the soap dish is dry. Because a wet soap dish dissolves the soap, wastes it. And when you give the baby a bath and take one yourself, it's nice and convenient to have swan floating around in the water. But it's more patriotic to take the soap out of the tub as soon as you have all the lather you need. So what do you say? Let's remember to save soap in every way possible. It's the least we can do to hasten victory. Well, here they are again, America's favorite Mr. and Mrs., George and Gracie. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. We're a little late. Good night. Sheridan, our guest tonight is currently starring in the 48 starred Warner Brothers film, Thank Your Lucky Stars. The makers of Swan, the new white floating soap, join George and Gracie in inviting you to tune into your CBS station again next week, same time. Remember George Burns and Gracie Allen, CBS next Tuesday night. Don't forget to listen to Swan's other show, Tommy Riggs and Betty Lou, next Friday night over another network. And now next week, this is Bill Goodwin saying, Well, I, Swan, how about you? Good night, everybody. Oh, oh, oh.